We are keeping the feeling of love going today because let's be real. Can you really celebrate Valentine's Day without food? <laughs> no. Lisa Balcom and Chef Patrick Balcom from Faro in Boulder stopped by the Coco Kitchen this morning to give us a closer look at their farm to table Valentine's Day menu. Good morning to the both of you. Hey, good morning. I absolutely love this. A, a, a dinner, romantic, delicious food. That speaks Valentine's Day for me, right? For absolutely. sure. Yes, yeah, so let's start with you, Chef. Belgium, cool. what are you making for us this morning? Yeah, so today we've got the first course on the menu this evening. So okay. we've got a little pickled beets with whipped goat cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, also a little citrus, pistachio, pink peppercorn. Okay. And a little red ribbon sorrel to top it off. So. So this is going to be the first dish on the menu, or yep. it's like a, a how many course meal is this? This is a four course dinner. Lovely. I love this. Okay, and Lisa, tell us more about why Faro sources the majority of ingredients from local producers. I just love this. I do too. Uh, sustainability is a really, really huge thing for us. Uh -huh. uh, so sourcing locally kind of helps us reduce our carbon footprint. All the farms that we use that are just across the highway from us are actually uh, using sustainable practices too with regenerative soil health and nice. all of that so a really really huge thing for us uh, in addition to that we think that local food tastes better when it's picked mm -hmm. just about a mile or two away it tastes a lot better than it does when it comes from all over the world so. I would think so that's yeah. a very valid point there well who are some of the local purveyors that you work with uh, Buckner Family Ranch okay. they do all grass-fed and pasture-raised pork lamb and beef uh, mm -hmm. we use modern farmstead Speedwell farms and then we use moxie uh, so we have all organic grain uh, that's locally milled and freshly milled as well that is wonderful yeah. okay chef I know you kind of did your thing there and I was talking <laughs> uh, but what happened with uh, this looks fantastic what exactly went in there so we've got some wonderful pickled beets here, whipped goat cheese on the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, pink peppercorns, toasted pistachio, and then a little red ribbon sorrel to top it Oh, off. that smells so. wonderful. And I love goat cheese on just about anything. Well, give us a little sneak peek about the Valentine's Day menu. Aside from this yeah. beauty, what else happens after that? So uh, second course, we have a house-made cavatelli with a creamy puttanesca sauce. Mm -hmm. And then for the entree, we have a choice of either the seared grouper with a little whipped parsnip and pomegranates. Yeah. And then we also have a uh, coffee rub filet with uh, little roasted carrots and an onion jus. So that sounds yeah. wonderful. Okay, so what's the deal? Do we need to make a reservation? Uh, are you accepting walk-ins if somebody wants to come in tonight? Uh, reservations are definitely a good idea. Okay. Um, we've got a couple spots that opened up today, last minute cancellations, so we definitely have a few more spots. Uh, if you do walk in, we do have our bar seating available. That's gonna be on a first come first serve basis. So mm -hmm. if you're not super fussy about a table, there's an option there too. You can always sit at the bar, right? Well, yeah. look, I'll, I'll say this much. Going to a wonderful romantic dinner is always a good thing for Valentine's Day. And speaking of love, Faro was founded on your love story. Okay, this is seriously the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Tell me how this happened. Yeah, well, we actually have always wound up working together. We met when we were working in a high-end hotel in Charlotte. Okay. Uh, we moved to Charleston and then found ourselves working together again. When we moved out here, we wound up working together again and then <laughs> opened a restaurant <laughs> together about yeah. a year and a half ago. You're like, all right, I'm going to marry this woman. Yeah. It's just meant to be. So how long has Faro been, been open? And is this something you guys wanted to do? How did it happen? Uh, we've been open for about a year and a half. We opened okay. in September of 2021. So it's been uh, just a short period of time that we've been doing this together here, but that yeah, is absolutely wonderful. loved it. Okay, what has that experience been like for you, Chef? Like having your own business now with your wife and this is your baby now. How yeah. does, what's that like? Um, I mean, it's been great getting to cook the way I want to cook and sure. just doing everything. You know, you're your own boss at this point. So uh -huh. uh, it can be a challenge. You know, we work together. We're there 24 seven. So <laughs> mentally and physically. So yeah. it's kind of yeah. one of those things. But you know, we do our thing, and at the end of the day, we can still enjoy a glass of wine and hang out together, so. That's absolutely yeah. right, and you can really see everything you guys have built together. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. Well, get her a table tonight at Faro, okay? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that is a good gift. And desserts, I have to ask about desserts before we head out. What's the What's the one dessert you would recommend? Uh, well, this dessert that we have over here is going to be on our Valentine's menu tonight. Oh, it's lovely. Um, so it's a strawberry-covered chocolate. We have mm -hmm. chocolate mousse in the center with a Valrona strawberry chocolate 
chocolate coating on the outside of that. Flourless chocolate cake with a strawberry rose meringue, and then a little freeze dried strawberry and white chocolate heart over top of that. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> when it's not Valentine's Day, what is on the menu? What would you recommend people come and try out? Well, so we have this really cool hyper seasonal menu and we change about half of it every week. It's, okay. it's uh, based on what's available from our local farmers. Got it. But, you know, we always feature a house made pasta. We have uh, pork, lamb and beef from our rancher and we always have a lot of great vegetables so it really yeah. sounds like it's fresh and delicious and something everyone needs to try thank you both so much for being for on the sure show this yeah morning. thank we you for having us to, we can't wait to make it out there and try <laughs> faro we'll get in on the farm to table menu items at faro restaurant make a reservation or you can always learn more at farorestaurant.com